Bonjour, j'ai indigène de cas menor, anonique, nindago menor, ota zagi in nindunjaba menor, mainga nindudin. Hi, my name is Jay, and I, the spirits call me Star Woman, and I am from LCO, and my clan is Wolf. This is traditionally how we would introduce ourselves, and this is since this is supposed to be an introduction speech, I thought that would be a proper way of bringing myself to others. Now, the point of my presentation is there are some people that influence us for in our life that I that have a great effect on, on you. For me, I consider a lot of them to be almost like family to me, if not family themselves, just with no blood relation. And then through their influence and grace, I wouldn't be who I am today, nor do I think um, would I even be here today. Um, to present today, I have my um, three, uh, three very important things for me to represent this. I have a convention badge, I have a locket, keychain, and I also have one of the implements I use for martial arts training. First off, I have an anime detour convention badge. This is for 2015. And as you can see, I have a lot of stuff on here. Just to break it down a little bit, I have what this is the staff badge for our detour, and this is what all people that are volunteer staff get to have. It has a demon cat on it. And then we have a regular staff badge. So we're recommended we go to any throne parties that to keep this out, because we don't want our staff members to be seen um, drinking, even if they're of age, it's just not good. We want them to look professional. Um, and because of, and one of the things that my department head actually gave me, and I'm, I'm in security at Detour, and the department head gave me this badge ribbon that says Idiot Child, because she's our mom. And there are a bunch of little things on here, and things like, I like penguins, this is from Kitsunecon, one of the conventions I promote at, and if anyone knows My Little Pony, there's Derpy Hoops which I get assigned to be a little bit derpy sometimes, so I included her on here. And that's one of my artifacts. I definitely uh, see Anime Detour as the staff as my family. We've gone through a lot of things together. And like all family, we have conflicts and there's a lot of resolution. And there's a lot of support there as well. So my closest friends are on staff. And there are a lot of people that either are on staff or go to Anime Detour. One of them being my best friends. And in here, I kept it in the bag. I have a Beauty and the Beast locket. Can't really see from that distance. But if anyone's interested, I'll post pictures. Um, there's, I got this at the Beauty and the Beast um, at the Orpheum with my best friend. We often go to musicals together. And it's a keychain, which my favorite color is purple, by the way. And on this side, I have my best friend Ashley and myself in front of Founder of the Opera. And on this side, I have my best friend Jimmy and myself when we're actually at Anime Detour. Um, let's see. Um, Ashley, for instance, um, she's my best friend going on 10 years. We have lived with each other basically since we've known each other. It's about three two-thirds of the time that we've known each other, we've lived together. This is actually one of the few times we haven't lived with each other um, in this current apartment, yeah. But she lives down the hall from me, so it just counts. Um, and then Jimmy, um, he first moved, when I first moved to Eden Prairie, he was one of the people that I ended up becoming friends with. I went to his GameStop all the time and bothered people at his store and himself. And so uh, I, was, I didn't feel so lonely, and I just didn't have... Me in a lonely in I had somewhere to go to to hang out. And through both of them, I feel a connection and I love them with all my heart. Unfortunately, one of the other friends that I wanted to put in here, I didn't have a proper picture of him. Um, and then he passed away a few years ago um, on the same level as those friends, uh, Jake. And I met him in Fargo and it was the same thing. I was very lonely and he just came into my life and I appreciate um, him being there for me. Lastly, uh, my loved ones and my family often encourage me in new interests and they are very supportive of any of these that I come across. 
One of the newest families that I'm welcoming into my life is actually from my dojo. I learned, started to learn Aikido uh, about six months ago, and I'm the equivalent of yellow belt now. I wanted to learn a martial art to proficiency to, um, to black belt status. And this is actually what I have. Get out of here. There you go. This is a boken. Uh, it's a wooden sword. And we use this in training. And I had this for a few years before I studied Aikido. Um, and I, this symbolizes my dojo and the new family that I'm making. I have a super supportive uh, sensei, a lot of good people within the dojo, and it's very traditional ways of teaching. I'm currently, as I said, um, the equivalent of the yellow belt, and I hope to advance more in the coming years before I go to Japan. Um, See, uh, for all these factors in my life, uh, if it weren't for these, if it weren't for my family, if it weren't for my other my friends, if it weren't for things like the dojo, I probably wouldn't be here today. Um, I keep these hands close and remember their kindness. And in turn, with my um, time as a staff member at Detour, I try to return the kindness to others or even my friends around me to make sure that they don't feel alone. Um, the ties to my family are, that I've chosen, it extends to a song from Wicked. It's called For Good. It goes, like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun, like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. Who can say if I've changed for the better? But because I knew you, I have been changed for good.